You guys, I can't wait for you to try these chili lime salmon tacos topped with fresh mango pico de gallo. These don't disappoint and they're perfect for any occasion. Hello and happy Taco Tuesday. I hope you're hungry because I've got just what you need today. These chili lime salmon tacos are super refreshing and filling. So if you're watching your diet or love tacos, no matter what, these are just for you. That's another great thing about the Taco Tuesday cookbook. It's like eating healthy without trying. The most basic taco ingredients are made with fresh veggies, cheese, and protein, all wrapped up in a tortilla, so it's a complete meal in the palm of your hand. So my oven is preheated and I've got my salmon on a large baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Now what I'm gonna do next is take some olive oil and drizzle it over the top. Add a little lime zest, some lime juice. The lime juice is gonna add some steam to the fish as it cooks, giving it that flakiness we love. I'm also topping my fish with some sliced jalapeno. Now depending on how much heat you like, then you add more or less. Last thing, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some salt and into the oven they go. While the fish bakes, we're gonna continue on with the rest of my taco line. Now I've paired these tacos with a mango pico de gallo. So basically we're gonna take this sweet mango and mix it with the fresh tomatoes. It's together with the salmon, it's a match made in heaven. Peeling mangoes is the worst thing ever, you guys. So you can just take your vegetable peeler and peel it right off like that. Now, there is nothing worse than a very hard mango because that means that it's not gonna be juicy and ripe. So a hack is to use frozen mango, which of course is the kinds that we use for smoothies, but if you thaw it out, now it's perfect for the salsa. Now I've already prepared the pico de gallo using the same recipe in the Taco Tuesday cookbook, or you can watch how it's made in this video. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take my diced mangoes and mix it with a pico de gallo, and that is the quickest mango salsa ever. I'm not particular about lettuce in my tacos because I usually like that crunch that they give, but today I'm using butter lettuce because the leaves are really soft and I find that with these particular tacos, it really hugs the flaky salmon really well. The next thing we're gonna do right before we assemble is to toast our tortillas. Now you guys know that I love my tortillas right over and over in flame because it gives them that soft pliableness plus the little toasty chard we all love. But you can also throw them in the oven wrapped in foil while the fish bakes. And our fish is ready, so let's go get that. Okay, so the fish is done, and so before we assemble it, we're gonna give our salmon a real coarse chop. This is gonna break up the salmon meat and makes it easy to serve inside the taco. We're gonna place a lettuce leaf onto the tortilla. We're gonna top it with salmon, mango pico de gallo, and avocado slices. Let's add a little squeeze of lime, and this, my friend, is ready to be devoured. Man, oh man, I was waiting all day for this taco. The fish is flaky, perfectly cooked. That mango pico de gallo is so refreshing. I could totally eat this all the time. The recipe and details on how you can grab a copy of the Taco Tuesday cookbook right below this video. Check out the rest of the videos in the Taco Tuesday series and click that red subscribe button for more easy and delicious tacos every week.